everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new so in today's video I'm gonna be talking all about how my parents found out I was pregnant when I was 16 this is my story and it definitely has a lot to do with my faith in Jesus and how even though I was being rebellious he was merciful with me and like in that situation through it all and so yeah I wanted to tell my story and give glory to God in this video and in my last a story time video with my husband Caleb someone asked in the comments I will put that up here um, they asked if I can do a story of like tell the story of how my parents found out um, so that's what I'm doing today and also I wanted to tell the story of how Caleb found out but I want to leave that I want to leave that for a different video so that Caleb can tell that story with me so I'm gonna film this video by myself and then I'll do the video other video with Caleb <laughs> the AC just turned off sorry about that but yeah so the story is gonna be based off of my memory so just a quick recap I met Caleb in 2014 when I was 15 years old and then I ended up getting pregnant with Eli in 2015 of January I was not living for the Lord then. Um, I had like knowledge of him, um, but I was definitely influenced by the culture of the world. And if you have children, please like I might be saying words that you might not want them to he that you might not want them to hear. So if you have children, definitely consider that like this video. Not that I'm even talking explicit, but I might say words that you might not want them to hear. So yeah, I advise you to watch this without your children or put headphones on. So um, when I met Caleb, we actually started to go to church together like in the summertime of 2014. Um, but we, you know, were still having sex outside of marriage and we were influenced by the sex culture of the world um, being promiscuous um, and not having like our values like, okay, sex is holy and it's good when it's in the context of marriage. We just didn't understand that and both of our parents told us you know not to have sex outside of marriage but we like obviously didn't listen to them. Through that we like learned the hard way and that is having a child so young but God was merciful through all of that. Um, I do not agree with teen pregnancy. I don't, I'm not promoting it in this video. I'm just sharing like my story and giving glory to God and how he like provided for us. He like his sovereign provision through that and just how we submitted ourselves to the Lord through being pregnant. Like I was 16 and Caleb was 18. So yes, I went behind my dad's back to get birth control because if my dad knew that I was on birth control, like like that would be like he would be like questioning it and he did find out eventually, but then I lied to him saying that, you know, it's just my period and I'm using it because I have heavy periods, but... Which I don't agree with using birth control as a band-aid because you have a symptom in your period. That's a whole other video. If you want me to make a video on my on my uh, opinion on birth control, then I can do that, but that's a whole other video. So I was lying to my dad, and my dad would straight up ask me, are you having sex? And I would tell him no. And I was lying to my dad. I was being rebellious. I was telling him no. With me telling my dad no, I was sinning. I was being rebellious against him. And my dad was trying to protect me. Long story short, my birth control made me gain like 30, no, 15 pounds. This was when I was, I was 16 years old at this point. I started to get double vision. I started to get really bad headaches. I started to have temporary blindness. Basically the birth control was making me sick. It was gonna make me go blind. My optic nerve was swollen. Um, I was having cranial pressure. Fluid go outside, like, I don't know how to explain all the medical terms, but the fluid in my brain was basically pushing on my skull and it was like brain swelling and they call it a pseudo tumor. So I had symptoms of I had a tumor, but I didn't have a tumor. The birth control was giving me symptoms of a tumor, which was basically going to lead to blindness. So all this stuff happened. I had to get off birth control. I had a spinal tap, and I was sick for like three months. And this was about October of 2014. And then Octo and then November, no, early December 2015. I started to feel better, but these symptoms of temporary blindness were happening from August of 2014 all the way to... I want to say beginning of November so that was like 
August, September, October. That was like four months of just being sick and not feeling good. And I could feel like my lymph nodes right here were so swollen. It was just not good. So if you are having symptoms on your birth control, I mean, I have my own opinion on birth control. I choose not to go on birth control anymore. Um, I think Okay, birth control is just like a whole another video topic, so I just shouldn't get into that. But let's just say I don't agree with birth control anymore. So, December, I decided to go behind my parents' back to get back on birth control. I went to Planned Parenthood, which I don't agree with them now. I don't support them now. I went there, and I got free birth control. Uh, I feel guilty about that now, and I feel bad. I was on it for about a month, and then I got pregnant with Eli on that birth control. I don't know if you've heard of this, but they actually give teenagers low-dose hormone of birth control so that they will get pregnant on their birth control, go back to Planned Parenthood, and end up getting abortions. So that was me. I was a teenager that got pregnant on Planned Parenthood birth control. So I was on it for a month. And I got pregnant at like the end of that month. So I got on it like December 8th. And when I went to Planned Parenthood, they said I was not pregnant. I took a pregnancy test there. Then I got pregnant with Eli beginning of January 2015. Um, probably like I, I missed my period in December. So probably like right at the end of December, that was when fertilized egg, implantation, all of that stuff. Basically, I started to... Like after a couple weeks, my period was two months late. I was feeling very sick in the morning, um, so I'd have to like eat something to feel better because I was having a little bit of morning sickness. And I was in so much self-denial. I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. That doesn't happen to me. I'm a good kid. I get good grades. I listened to my parents, listened to my parents, but I lied to my parents. <laughs> and I do my chores, and I'm a good kid. And good kids don't get pregnant blah blah blah. so I kind of was just in self-denial and I was pretty open with my mom so I went to my mom and I know she wasn't gonna like get super mad at me like I know she was gonna have my back so I went to my mom and I said I asked her to buy a pregnancy test for me and so we went to Walgreens and she got a pack of two and I took I think I took one I might have took taken both of them but then the minute I we went home, the minute I took it, it came up positive. I just like didn't know what to do, so I just kind of shoved it all in a bag and threw it in the trash in my room, which kind of sounds dumb now that I think about it. <laughs> and um, I went and I called Caleb and I told him, but I will save that story for a whole nother time. And while I was um, while I was calling Caleb, he asked me to come over. I went to his house. And then my mom, while I was gone, my mom looked through my room. She went straight to my trash can, pulled the test out of the trash, and saw that I was pregnant. So my mom knew immediately. And then I came home, and I was emotional and kind of just in shock. And then my mom, she wasn't, like, mad, but she was just kind of, like, scared for me in a way. Because she didn't, you know, she wanted me to still be in high school, like... She, she just didn't want me to be a young mom, obviously, but, but my mom had my back, and she wasn't, like, furious at me or anything. But I did keep being pregnant from my dad for, like, I kept that a secret from my dad for, like, a week. And I was really, really afraid to tell him because I was lying to him. And um, the plan was I was going to go to the doctors to confirm the pregnancy and then tell my dad. What ended up happening was my mom, it was like one school night or something, and it was just before bed. I was actually laying down about to go to sleep, and my mom said something to my dad to give him the hint that there was a secret that everyone knew about that was being kept from him. And my sister knew, my mom knew, Caleb knew, and so... I was laying down in bed, my dad comes into the room, his face looked like he was mad. Like, he was in the door frame, so like pretend he's like in the door frame, but it wasn't this room, it was like at my old house. So he basically said, Kaylee, are you keeping something from me? Is there something you're supposed to tell me? Do you have to tell me something? And his face, he looked very upset at me and he looked disappointed and frustrated and mad, all in one facial expression. And the AC is turning back on, so sorry about that. And then I started crying, and usually when I have something to tell someone, I'm not good at speaking my emotions. So finally, I was able to admit it that I told my dad, like with tears running down, I said, I'm pregnant. And um, like my dad got even more 
disappointed. Like the the disappointment in his face went from like like all the way up there. It was pretty high. The disappointment. He just said he first told me that you know Kaylee, this is what happens when you do that, and he said this is all based off memory. Mostly, I remember like the feeling of it, and he said also that I will not get an abortion. And I already made up in my mind that I wasn't going to get an abortion. Um, I knew like even when I found out that I was pregnant that I was going to keep Eli and I feel like the enemy tried to tempt me with abortion for a split second but I said no in my head. I said no because that is murder. So even at the age of 16 I knew that it was wrong and I knew that it would you know lead to hurt um, on so many levels and my dad said he said that is like not an option, um, like abortion at all, which I was in agreement with. But yeah, that is how my parents found out and how Caleb's parents found out. Um, he told them when I wasn't there. Uh, it was really heavy on his heart, so he, he told them maybe like a couple days later. He went home from school early and he told his brother and his mom that I was pregnant. Maybe I'll let him tell you guys that story himself uh, later. But I wasn't there, so I don't really have much to speak on that. Even though me and Caleb were rebellious and we were having, you know, what, outside of marriage um, and how that led to Eli, he's sitting right there. But um, God was definitely merciful through it all, and he just provided for us in on ways that, you know, I can see looking back, like how my parents didn't kick me out, um, how they helped me through that, how they supported me and him, me and Caleb financially with like getting the baby stuff and how that was God's provision of him putting, you know, our parents in our lives, being so giving, being so loving, being so forgiving. Like our parents could have shunned us or said, you know what, you're on your own, but I'm really grateful that they were there to help us um, and of course 100% they still are helping us not 100% but they're still my parents still are here to help us and Kayla's parents definitely helped us too and they still are and uh, yeah so that was how I found out later that week when my dad found out I went in for my first ultrasound I went with my mom and Caleb and then we got pictures of Eli yeah and when I showed my dad he kind of still wasn't really like su like he was accepting of it but it was kind of hard for him to accept it. I feel like anyways, I can't really, this, yeah, those are Jameson's. I can't 100% speak for my dad, no, I don't want to, to do but you know, it is hard to see your daughter being 16 years old be pregnant and how my dad probably felt disappointed and sort of like he messed up because he was supposed to protect me and also I was lying to him so there's probably a whole different like emotions going on my dad but I can't 100% speak for him but it did work out everything worked out and, and then shortly after that my parents had Caleb's parents over for dinner and they like they basically wanted to like sit down have a dinner and talk everything over like what were the next steps um, and like how everything was gonna work out and that it basically was like this huge support system of family and I really think it still is our parents help us out a lot, and I'm when really you, grateful for that. And when you um, get done, I can actually wear this. Yeah, you can. Oh, wait. When I'm almost done though. You have something on your face. Knowing that my parents were there for me really tells me that God, so like good. that was His provision. The Lord ordained mine and Caleb's parents over us, and that was just His sovereign will. And through my pregnancy, I was definitely humbled. And it caused me to be in prayer more, it caused me to read the Bible, it caused me to ask for forgiveness and to repent of that and everything. And when I was pregnant with Eli, me and Caleb, what are you doing? <laughs> that was when we got married and yeah, so that's basically our story. Um, oh, also, um, when I got pregnant with Jameson, I was 19 years old, so I have had two teen pregnancies. If you want me to do a story about how I found out with Jameson, but I kind of already have that on my channel, but I can do like a, because it is a second teen pregnancy and how that was different than my first teen pregnancy. So, you know, I think I might do that video, like comparing the two pregnancies. Yeah, so, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Okay, bye! bye.